Hey everyone, I'm M. I'm going to be making true crime content on this channel. Today's case is about two women from Atlanta who suffered a freak accident in 2011. I chose Atlanta because that's where I'm from by way of New York, so I'll also be doing New York based cases. If you want to learn more, stay tuned. May 27th, 2011 was a warm day with a high of 80 degrees but the wee hours of the next day would prove chilling for more than its temperature dropping to the 60s for Lashana and Sierra. Lashana Marlies Threat was born May 27, 1981 to Sharon Trailer and Maurice Threat in Sacramento, California. There's not much online about her childhood, but what I gathered were tons of photos from Facebook pages likely managed by her family. She grew up in what appeared to be a large family with possibly four siblings two sisters and two brothers. In the numerous images of Lashana during her youth, she looked to be a happy and outgoing kid. All of her photos from then and even into her adult life were filled with her beaming smile. Despite becoming a teen mom at the tender age of 15 in 1996, she had big plans for she and her daughter's life. So much so that she relocated to Atlanta, Georgia in 2002. This came after learning of its excellent school system during visits with her father Maurice, who had previously lived there. To support her young daughter, Lashana worked as a Hooters girl for five years before pursuing her modeling career. Atlanta was booming during this particular time, which was the mid-2000s. New styles like crunk and trap music were on the rise and popularized by well-known artists like T.I., Little John, Soldier Boy, and many more. Southern R&B artists such as Sierra and Bobby Valentino also fell under that umbrella as their careers were directly impacted by Ludacris. Lashana would go on to be featured in Kiss Magazine with Bobby Valentino. She would then become a fixture in the Atlanta modeling scene, landing a coveted spot in the Atlanta Dimes December calendar one year. You may have also seen Lashana's gorgeous face in print ads for bridal, hair, and alcoholic beverage companies. Lashana's spirited personality, quick wit, and stunning beauty afforded her the opportunity to host a talk show called The Rear View. You can check out that casting call interview for that role here on YouTube in the description box of this video. Through her work as a model, Lashana met 25-year-old Sierra, a dancer making moves in Atlanta as well. She is not to be confused with the singer. The two forged a friendship that was genuine in an industry that usually creates enemies. On November 16, 1985, in Lexington, Kentucky, Gloria Williams gave birth to a baby girl she named Sierra Michelle Williams. Like Lashana, Sierra had a host of siblings, seven sisters, and one brother who was deceased. Sierra graduated with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Eastern Kentucky University. But with a love for cheerleading, dancing, and modeling as a child, it was no surprise that Sierra made a name for herself as a dancer, working with the likes of Chris Brown, Lloyd, and Gorilla Zoe. She was a featured model in Young Jock's 2006 hit, I Know You See It. In the early morning hours of May 28, 2011, the women had been out on the town just as they had done before. Only this time, it was in honor of Lashana's 30th birthday. After a short drive from Atlantic Station where the festivities began, the pair along with a group of friends and Lashana's fiance, Larray Hamilton, took the party back to the W Hotel in Midtown Atlanta. Within minutes of getting settled into the room, Lashana and Sierra would suffer a freak accident of falling out of the window of their 10-story hotel room. It is reported that the ladies were playfully interacting with each other when somehow they lost their footing and braced themselves against the window, but ultimately fell through. The witnesses tried to stop both women from falling and render aid, but for Lashana, it was unfortunately too late. Sierra was then rushed to Grady, the local trauma hospital, where she spent some time at ICU on a ventilator recovering from her serious injuries. Police investigated the scene and spoke to everyone in attendance on that fateful night and ultimately determined that no foul play was involved. While it was a relief that this incident was unintentional, the overall event is one that devastated the family and friends of Lashana Threat. 
Lawsuits were filed on her behalf and that of her then 14-year-old daughter, Imani, by family and Ray, who sought custody of the child as he and Lashana were raising her together. I'm not privy to the outcome of those lawsuits, nor the guardianship, but in social media pictures that I found from the years following, Ray was and still seems to be active in Imani's life when his account was active up until not long ago. As everyone began to move forward with their lives, Sierra was still reeling in the traumatic experience that claimed the life of her friend and almost her own. Now faced with hospital debt and physical ailments, Sierra's family set up a bank account to receive donations and held fundraisers in her honor to relieve some of the stress. But what was said to have plagued Sierra more than anything was haunting memories and unrelenting ridicule. Social media was ablaze with speculations about what really took place with she and Lashana at the hotel and making terrible accusations against her. Online trolls even roped Lashana's fiance Ray into the gossip as having a hand in her demise. None of these allegations were proven true back then nor now, almost 13 years after the incident. Sierra never publicly addressed what occurred in the hotel room leading up to the fall, but she went on to state in a Facebook account that has since been removed that she was doing well some two years later. Her family also noted that she was a fighter and wasn't defeated by the accident. In the years to come, Sierra kept a low profile maintaining a private Instagram account and no other known entertainment gigs or appearances. But as history has shown time and time again, survivor's guilt can be just as deadly as a broken heart. Sadly, Sierra died on January 17, 2022 from an alleged drug overdose. In 2019, she confided in an Instagram follower about discovering the popular gossip blog, Lipstick Alley, and all the misinformation being spread about her for years. She then thanked the follower for always defending her. The cause of death is not officially documented anywhere, but it is rumored that she struggled with drug abuse as a result of losing Lashana, surviving the fall, and the constant online abuse. For two women full of beauty, charm, and talent to be lost in such a way, one on May 28, 2011, and the other seemingly as a direct result of it 11 years after is unsettling. My thoughts and respects are with the families and friends of Lashana Threat and Sierra Williams. I hope I did their stories justice as I shared some of the most intimate and devastating details of their lives. Know that it was all done in love and honor, as I believe they deserve to be known by others. Let me know your thoughts on this case or if you have any recommendations for some cases that are not well known. This was the first episode of my series, Forget Me Not. If you really enjoyed it, I hope you like, comment, and share. I also hope that you're subscribed and stay tuned for more. See you in the next one.